One of the objectives of the T680 Next Generation program is improving aerodynamics. You can see that we've added 28 inch side extenders on the vehicle here. That allows us to have seamless air flowing off of the cab, the sleeper, and onto the trailer. But we also wanted to have really good trailer access. And so in order to do that, we've designed an opening fairing extension, which allows us to move it out of the way and then the drivers have clear access to the back of sleeper to do any of the things they need to do in their daily inspection. Now the T680 has all new fairings that you see here, which allow air to smoothly move down the side of the vehicle, across the tandems, and onto the trailer. The new chassis fairings are so aerodynamic that we no longer have to offer full wheel-to-wheel -wheel chassis fairings. We can have a, a partial that has improved aerodynamic. And one of the other things that we've done is we've developed a vent in the back of the fender well that allows air to come from under the engine compartment and come out around the step area. So given that so much of Next Generation is about an aerodynamic enhancement, one of the obvious changes is the side skirts and steps. We didn't want to sacrifice that really important ingress-egress experience with something in the aerodynamics realm. So the steps are still the best in the industry when it comes to getting in and out of the truck safely. Now for the drivers, we've included a battery inspection panel that you see here that allows you to open and do quick inspections on your battery on all of their daily checklist. We've got the wheel well closeout, so they're designed specifically for the geometry of the hood on the next generation T680, and that flows into an all new bumper design. We've also introduced an all new LED side turn indicator, which provides great visibility one of the other things you'll notice about the lighting is there's a, a large side turn indicator down the back edge of the, of the front fender. And part of it is gives, a nice, a, gives us, the designers, a nice cool blade of light down the back of the fender and really gives it an expressive look. But for the driver, it makes sure that everybody coming up alongside of you, especially folks in passenger cars, they can see what you're going to do. You turn that turn signal on, they can't, they can't miss it. The hood has been designed to be narrower, which helps us reduce drag on the front of the vehicle. In order to do that, we've designed an all-new cooling package inside, more narrow and lower in the frame rails, which give us the ability for air to move seamlessly down the sides. Now, when you look at the new bumper design, one of the things we did is we maintained the ground clearance that we had on the current T680, allowing air to go underneath and then exit in the vent areas that I've talked about on the sides. We have the same ramp angle, like approach angle, and ground clearance as we have on today's T680 with improved aerodynamic performance. We extend that bumper further under the bottom of the truck to keep the air attached and direct it as it goes under. On the sides of the hood, we have an all new air intake that's designed to be both functional and have excellent uh, look for a premium image T680 next generation product. One of the other things that we've done is you see on the A-pillar that we've installed a turning vane. And what that does is helps us with aerodynamics again by taking air coming off of the windshield and keeping it smoothly flowing down the sides of the vehicle from the sleeper and onto the trailer. We've also designed a new optional LED headlamp for the T680. Now these headlamps have best in class forward light performance and they have this signature nighttime and daytime running light feature that really is an accent for the next generation product. They allow us to have a really expressive look. The daytime running light curves with the shape of the fender and that's going to be the thing you're going to see you know, way down the road um, and you're going to know it's a Kenworth when it's coming towards you. The lighting performance is just incredible and it's a nice bright clear light that's like daylight color. We've even included heaters inside the headlamps to uh, control the condensation and, and fogging on the lens. Now in total, all of the changes that we've made for aerodynamics plus the inclusion of the Packard MX engine provides us up to 6% improvement in fuel economy for the T680 next generation. Now let me show you some of the changes that we made on the inside of the vehicle. When you get in the T680, one of the first things you'll notice is a lot of our new interior trims. We've got all new fabrics on both the seats and on the door pads. We've got new wood grain trim that we've added, which give it a very premium feel. And the other thing that you notice immediately is the high resolution 15 inch digital display 
and the A-cluster position. Now this provides drivers all the information they need to maintain and operate their vehicle from speedo to RPMs to other details. This new digital display is paired to an all-new smart wheel which has the features for controlling the digital display, cruise control, and other features all integrated so that the drivers keep their hands on the wheel while they're driving down the road. This is a part of the excellent innovation that we've included in the new T680 Next Generation. Um, what we really wanted to do was bring some more contrast and refinement into the interior. We have a nice new black color all, on all the lower bits and then our light tan or light gray up above. And in the premium uh, diamond interiors, we have a new color called Madrona, which is a rich coppery color that uh, is on the center of our leather seats. It's on the stitching, and we think that really gives it a, a high-end premium look. <laughs>